Welcome to Battle of the Bands. We're Head Sharp, and our first track is an original song. And it's called I Feel Good. Afternoon, how are we doing? Are we alright? Are we alright all up there? Yeah? <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a trip to the West Coast now and meet our friend Dominic Fike. <laughs> this is his West Coast collector and it's gonna be sung by brother Bryn here. Yeah. Whoa. I used to live out west in a collective, everybody got arrested because nobody wanted to sleep. I used to dish out verses on purpose And if you wanted to put you on, you weren't as good as me I don't know if that time is coming to an end I hold my fingers back together when it's over So you go running for the hills You cannot run it by yourself By yourself And when I call 
to our last number now but before before we do I'd like to introduce you to the band if that's okay so now on the drums and now on on the cajon ladies and gentlemen please give a round of applause for John Booth <laughs> and to the back right and to your back left he's now playing the lovely jazz master <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Cam or as we like to know him as Cammy Whammy <laughs> to my left this man needs no introduction. All I can say is, Noel Brown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> to my right, he's been singing his heart out for the past 10 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryn. <laughs> and you may notice we're without, we're without a member tonight. Well, this afternoon. But whenever you're watching this, morning, evening, <laughs> afternoon, we're missing Jamila today because of the, C, the big C word. Um, so our thoughts are with her. We love her very much. And this last one goes out to her. Um, we brought her in for the guide track and that's how she joined this band. Um, it's called Is It Us? And I hope you enjoy it. Them hands. She looked at me in a 
cut it for a way. That's it, really good. It's been a while since I caught her last way. She said she needs some time away. And I need a little bit. Come on, boys, we'll go around it one more time for her. She looked at me in a different way. It's been a while since I caught her last way. She says she needs some time away. And I need a little break. Well done, guys. Really enjoyed it. It looks like you're enjoying yourself when you're on stage as well, which is fantastic. Um, Tom, you really give it the big end on lead vocals. It's fantastic to see. On a technical note for your guitars, I feel like you've got one really clean guitar and then you've got one kind of disgustingly dirty guitar. And the two, to me, they don't necessarily complement each other as much as they could. You might want to look at just working on your tones a little bit so that when you're both playing together, you've not got that, that big wall of sound that doesn't quite merging just getting something so the clean is a little bit dirtier and the dirty dirty is not quite as dirty and that might help that kind of whole band feel come together a little bit more but overall i really enjoyed it it's great to see you loving what you're doing and we enjoyed hearing it well done guys yeah absolutely so to pick up from what uh, sam just said there i think a really good performance overall good energy from the band uh, unfortunately i don't know all your names guys but uh, the chap who was playing the bass incredible stage presence really enjoyed that and you were really trying to get the audience engaged top top notch what i would say though for the rest of the band is you could probably try and come up to that level or the bass player come down just so that you feel more like a unit um it, it felt a little bit disjointed not necessarily musically but when we watched you perform we had like loads of energy in the middle and then the rest of the band seemed a little bit disjointed and separate especially uh your lead guitarist some really nice solos but you were just off in your own little box and there wasn't a lot of connection with the audience so just try and bring that performance level up and actually own those solos it just brings a lot more to the stage overall really enjoyable performance and uh, well done absolutely My hands up in the air Cause I know I can count on you Sometimes for like saying Lord, I just don't care But you've got the love I need to see me through Sometimes it seems that the going is too rough Things go wrong no matter what I do You got the love, you got the love, you got the love, you got the love. 
So next song, we're um, bringing a little country in this joint. <laughs> this song's called Before He Cheats. And 
and I know that you are true There's no damn way that you could fall in love with somebody that quickly Ain't it funny? All the twisted games, all the questions you used to avoid Ain't it funny? I brought her up and you told me that I was paranoid God, I wish that you had thought this through Before I went and fell in love with you When she's sleeping in the bed we made Don't you dare forget about the way You betrayed me And I know that you never feel sorry For the way I hurt, yeah You talked to her When we were together You gave me a but that didn't matter It took you two weeks To go off and date her Guess who didn't you? You're still, you're still a traitor Thank you. Amber, Rihanna, girls, fantastic job. Well done. Really enjoyed the performance. Uh, it was a nice change of pace from the first act. So well done. It's, it's always quite difficult to come on when you've had a very different act on before you and then bring the confidence to the stage. So really well done for that. Um, a few little bits of critique for you in terms of your stage presence and then trying to match up to those different acts. Just be confident and sit in what, what it is that you've chosen to do. So if you're doing a, a slow number, feel confident to leave space in it, especially, Rihanna, when you're playing the guitar. And I, I felt sometimes you were a little bit tense and felt you needed to be playing. And actually, sometimes leaving that space and slowing down is more effective, especially in the last song. There was a few issues with the, the time signature that you were playing in against the track. So just feel confident to slow down and give it the space and also look up from the guitar occasionally to interact with the audience. It just makes it far more engaging. But overall, really enjoyed it. Great vocal tone, nice vocal presence as well. You were engaging with the lyrics and like performing through the song. So I really enjoyed it. Well done. I would yeah echo what Matt's just said about the vocal tone and how you your the way you were moving your body reflected the lyrics that you were singing and that's something that not all vocalists kind of understand and they don't always get that but it mm. really does add to the performance. Um, what Matt said about the guitar, I would agree with that. There's nothing wrong with if sometimes you feel like you're getting a little bit lost with the time signature or or the general track just to play the downstroke on the one. And just until you get that that time back and just until you get the feel back, it's going to be better than trying to play all along when you're struggling a little bit with, with the backing track. If you are struggling with the backing track and it's a situation like the one that we've just seen and it's recorded, it's not necessarily live for an audience, have the confidence to say, can we stop? I just want to turn the backing track up a little bit. It's going to help my performance. And that 15 seconds of you just coming up and just saying I want to do that is going to help the next 10-15 minutes so it's really worth doing just having the confidence to own your own performance and be in charge of your own performance and I think that's going to help you tenfold in the future well done girls really enjoy it well done well done hiya um we're Jun Jun Park um gonna be playing two originals and a cover so hope you enjoy Step into the city lights Cause this time I'm ready to make you mine 
This time I show you I can love you right The way you look at me Has me falling off my feet Makes it hard to speak Oh baby I can see You're not a one night girl You've just been waiting for someone to show you the world I can be the one to hold you close And let you know you're not a one night girl Another drink at a quiet place Lights are dim but the candles shine up on your face This time I'm holding on to every word you say And I know that I never felt this way The way you look at me has me falling on my feet Makes it hard to breathe Oh baby I can see No, 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 one night girl You've just been waiting for someone to show you the world I can be the one to hold you close and let you know you're not a one night girl. You're not a one night girl. to show you the world I can be the one to hold you close and let you know you're not a one night girl you're not a one night girl you've just been waiting for not to show you the night girl I can be the one to hold you close and let you know you're not a one night girl Take us one fly, we be in the same time zone. I'm looking through your timeline, seeing all the rainbows. I, I've got an idea, and I know that it sounds crazy, but I gotta see ya. All I gotta ask of you, you got plans tonight? I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan tonight. I was hoping I could fly to your hotel night. Because I, I can't get you off my mind Can't get you off my mind Can't get you off my mind Yeah I can feel the tension We can cut it with a knife It's more than just a friendship I can hear you think about it yeah. So I gotta convince you That you shouldn't fall asleep It'd be a couple hours And I'm about to leave so you got plans tonight? I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan And I I was hoping I could fly to your hotel night Cause I, I can't get you off my mind Can't get you off my mind Can't get you off my mind Do you got plans tonight? I was hoping I could get lost in your paradise The only thing I'm thinking about is you and I Cause I, I can't get you off my mind 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 Let's get lost tonight Let's get lost tonight Look at you and I To get you off my mind Let's get lost tonight Let's get lost tonight Let's get lost tonight To get you off my mind I'm a couple hundred miles from 
Japan tonight. I was hoping I could fly to your hotel tonight. Because I, I can't, can't get, get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. You, off my mind. you got plans tonight. I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan tonight. I was hoping I could get to your hotel tonight. Cause I, I can't get you off my mind 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 well, Let's get lost tonight Let's get lost tonight Baby you and I To get you off my mind Let's get lost tonight Let's get lost tonight Baby you and I To get you off my mind I never lied to you I always saw the best in you But when we are apart All my feelings they restart And I know Oh I know You got me seeing Silhouettes with no one in my arms Got me feeling Burns across my heart You've got me begging Begging you You've got me begging you Got me begging you Oh oh Looking to fly to Toronto. Oh, oh, oh. I'll be gone by tomorrow. No, I'm not running away. Cause I might die if I stay. If I stay. If I stay. All you win won't change it. Could you keep trying to mend it? If you get that much, you should have shown me more than lust. And if you want me back, you should have loved me more than that. Oh, should have loved me more than that. You got me seeing silhouettes with no one in my arms. Got me feeling burns across my heart. You got me begging, begging you. you got me begging you. Got me begging you. Oh. I'm looking to fly to Toronto oh, I'll be gone by tomorrow No, I'm not running away I'm not running away I would die if I stay I might die if I stay Looking to fly to Toronto I'll be gone by tomorrow Booking a flight to Toronto I'll be gone by tomorrow Booking a flight to Toronto oh, I'll be gone by tomorrow And if you want me to go, baby There's the door, ooh, there's the door Booking a flight to Toronto Oh, I'll be gone by tomorrow No, I'm not running away I'm not running away Cause I would die if I stay I would die if I stay I'm gonna fly to Toronto Yeah, I'll be gone by tomorrow I'll be gone by tomorrow I'm not running away I'm not running away Cause I would die if I stay Lads, really good job. Really enjoyed this performance. Um, 
it was a nice change of pace from the the axe that we'd seen before and that's always good when you come in especially to a competitive environment to keep it fresh and, and be very clear in what you guys are trying to achieve and you very uh you were very strong in having your own clear sound which i really enjoyed um so joe guitar playing really uh like um confident that's the word i'm looking for it was a really confident performance you're you're clearly a competent guitarist you had some really nice chord voicings in mm. there which i really enjoyed um and and rhythmically as well it was varied throughout the performances i did think the three songs kind of i wouldn't say they sounded the same they were very clearly sat in the same sort of tonality but because you didn't have a wider rhythm section you might want to look at ways that you can really make them clear as to this is this song and this is the sound for this song especially when you're writing your own music try and make them so that the hooks are identifiable and that's clearly that song um because when you play three back to back you don't want people to think which one was which especially if you you're writing your own music and you want it to be listened to outside of performances um patrick vocal performance really confident had great stage presence I, I did think both of you were kind of in your own space and you were performing almost to yourselves but obviously the the environment that you were working in for an online performance i can see why you would do that so maybe look at how would you engage the audience more take a little bit more time to introduce your songs and say this is us this is what we're doing because at the end of the day you want people to go away and find those songs and i wouldn't be able to tell you what the names of the songs were and, and i might want to go and listen to them so just taking that time and think this is us we're really confident with what we're doing and communicate that clearly to the audience and then i think it would just level up you know to the next stage but overall really enjoyable great job guys yeah, I'd agree. I, I did thoroughly enjoy it. And I think you had you had your own kind of vibe there. It was the two of you and that's all there was. And for that thing, that's all there, all there really needed to be. For that kind of communication with the audience, because it is going to be, um, it, it is uh, an online audience, then just something as simple as looking into the camera. You know, we went through at the beginning where the cameras are going to be. You know where they are. Just if you're looking into the camera, you're communicating with the audience there. You don't need to make the audience in the room give it a big clap or anything like that because that's not really the audience. Just a little bit of engagement there. That would have been really nice. Mm -hmm. um, Joe, for your guitar, as you said, for the chord voicings, I think they're interesting because you weren't just sticking to the norm. You weren't just in root position the whole time and you were actually thinking about it and you were doing that thing where if you can work out where all the chords are going to be on the same kind of three or four frets, then that's going to bring that element of, of kind of home to the sound of it so that it all it all sticks in the same kind of area and you're not deviating from that too much. And harmonically, that's quite an interesting thing to be able to do and to be able to actually have that in the same area is really interesting. And what you were doing with the thumb slaps was a really nice, um, really nice addition to that because it just added that element of percussion in there it, mm. it wasn't too much it was just enough it wasn't too um too crazy you weren't doing your hand as well for a snare it was just enough to kind of keep the beat and it just felt it felt like a nice addition mm -hmm. um patrick your enthusiasm on stage has has come on a lot you're really being emotive with your performance and i think over the last year and a half two years we've really seen a lot of progression in your performance and your abilities as a vocalist Hi. and for for me that's really nice to see but well done guys i thoroughly enjoyed the whole performance the whole vibe i think it was it was really something special it's good. yeah great job Yeah.
Make Your Mind by Public.
final song is a cover from the script called A Man Who Can't Be Moved. Going back to the corner where I first saw you Gonna care if I'm sleeping back, I'm not gonna move Got some words on cardboard, got your picture in my
Well done, guys. Enjoyable performance. Um, I think the songs that you chose contrasted each other nicely. I think in the first song, Use Somebody, there was a little bit of a, uh, a rhythm mismatch there. I think the guitar was playing the original rhythm um, from the original track and the drums were doing something a little bit different. Now, it's okay to do that. It's okay to deviate away from the original track and make it your own. That's, that's cool. That's all part of it. But as long as you're both deviating in the same way and you're not one person playing something different and the other trying to do something true to the original. So it's just something to think about there to, to lock in that rhythm section when you don't have an extra guitar or a bass guitar that's going to lock it all in together. Vocals were mostly solid. I feel like you could do a little bit more on stage, either if it's just a bit of interaction between the two of you. You don't have to give it something massive to the audience. You don't have to go crazy and start dancing, but just something to show that you're, that you're there and it's your stage. For that 10, 15 minutes, you are the spectacle. You're the ones being watched. And just let us know that you're enjoying yourself a little bit more. Just a few glances to each other, a few smiles, just a bit of interaction between the band i think that would have elevated the performance just that little bit more but overall well done enjoyable absolutely I, I agree with everything sam said i think um one of the first things i just wanted to touch on again really really good performance all round i know you were missing some members so i think you kind of had some gaps in in the sound that you wanted to create um but you should always try when you come into any performance, whatever the circumstances are, try and adapt to that so that it doesn't feel empty. Um, the chap who's playing the drums, sadly, unfortunately, I don't know your name. Sorry about that. But um, I thought, as a drummer myself, when you came on, I thought, great, he's got a Dark Side of the Moon t-shirt on. We're on to a winner. But then when you when you sound checked, I feel like you were try it. You were like so wanting to perform that you were doing too much and, and one of the best things you can do as a drummer is actually rein it back in it's really difficult to do because you're sat at the back of the stage and you think you know i i need to compete with everyone in front of me but actually your job as the drummer is to lock everything in and just be solid and the best drummers that you'll see in the world do the least but they, you know they can do more but they don't need to they're just there to keep it tight so really focus on time and keeping it solid and and the dynamics through your playing and it will enhance the level of the overall band performance so much um girls on vocals really well done but same as what sam said i think we could have had a bit more presence but also because there's the two of you and you've both got great voices you you can really utilize that to bring harmonies into the performance as well and a couple of the songs that you sung were really well known and and I was kind of expecting to hear the harmonies from the originals and then you kind of sang it in unison. So looking at that as a as a stretch kind of exercise, how can you develop what it is that you're doing? Harmonies is a great way to go. Really enjoyed it. And one final point as well, lad on the guitar, really good job for taking a second to breathe in your second song. You know, you were you were getting caught up with it and you did exactly the right thing. You paused got it right and and set off on the right foot and that's a really difficult thing to do with an audience in front of you so well done for doing that good job overall guys yeah well done uh, hello we're wig and this set is dedicated to ryan Got your class in half an hour, I was with and tubes. But she doesn't know me well. And she doesn't give a damn about me. Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Listen 
much like a hoot you died again and again We are so old I'm in love just like a man I shall introduce all of us. Uh, this is Elliot on lead guitar. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is Megan on keys. Uh, Ollie on the drums, the main man. And Saxon on bass guitar. Elevator music. <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah, like two. Yeah. Okay, so our final song is Misery Business by Paramore. I'm 
is this a misery to stick it from the top She's got a body like an hourglass, ticking like a clock It's a matter of time before we all run out The budget was mine, she got him by the cloud I waited eight hard months, she finally set him free I told him I couldn't lie, he was the only one for me Two weeks a week, hard on fire She got out for me, but I wear the biggest smile Never change, we're so holy and nothing more. I'm sorry that'll never change. And about forgiveness, we're both supposed to have exchange. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm passing out. Now look this way. Well, there's a million other girls that do it just like you. Being as innocent as possible to get to. They want it, what they want to see that if you do it right. Well, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. Well done guys, excellent performance. It's nice to see you playing as a band. I think the band element of, of this performance can maybe come on a couple of steps. It felt a little bit like four performers performing on your own. And I think that that band, um, the, the unison part of it needs to come on a little bit. I think all of you on your own, you're very accomplished musicians, but it would just feel like it needs to be a little bit more of a unit. In the, um, the Paramore song, I think that it was difficult for you there because there was in a different tuning um, and you were kind of a, as low as you could go, but it was still a little bit high for Amy for you to get all those notes and, and belt them out as it needs to be. So maybe a little bit of rethinking there, of song choice of what key you're doing a song in, but if, if you're already down in, in a drop tuning, you can't get much lower. So either if you're dead set on doing that song, maybe have an extra guitar set aside that is a little bit, bit lower still, um, or maybe a different song selection. Um, but overall, I, I did thoroughly enjoy it. I thought it was a, a good performance. I think uh, on the drums, I think there was some elements that felt a little bit, a little bit over the top, a little bit too much for what was going on, and it kind of took away from the solid groove a little bit. I said to you after you played that one of the greatest attributes you've got as a drummer is you hit them properly. You can make a mediocre sit, mediocre kit sound very good by just hitting them properly, and it would have been nice to hear that throughout the entire set and just the solid groove there all the time, away from that more showy kind of stuff and i'm sure matt as a drummer can can elaborate on that a little bit as well yeah absolutely i mean i, I will, i'll come on to the drums i just want to to echo what sam said about the performance overall i thought it was really competent as a performance and you clearly all have skill as performers um uh, there are there a few little things uh, to echo or to continue from what we were saying about the paramore song and an alternative and i always say this to artists that i work with is whenever you get up and perform a song 
it's your performance of that song you, you've obviously got reference points from the originals and you can hear mm. you know artists perform in loads of different places but every band whenever they get up and perform a song it's its own unique thing so you don't have to be fixed into the melody that Haley williams is singing on the, you know, the recording of misery business you've got freedom to do your own performance you can change the melodic line if your range mm. doesn't hit the top of that note you can think well i'm going to sing it in a different way and you'll find examples of her doing that mm. when she's on an off day because she's got a slightly sore throat midway through a tour that's what artists do to, yeah, to yeah. facilitate that so always remember this performance is not paramore and i've got a copy of them specifically it's us doing paramore and we want to do our own thing with it so uh, take that ownership of every song that you play yeah I, th I think just to add to that sorry i think um elliot we know that you can sing well as well and you've been coming on with that really nicely over the last year it would have been maybe good for you to have the main vocal in the octave down and mm. then have amy doing a, a harmony above it or something like that something within your range that would be a way that you can kind of stretch that and make that your own performance i think that's a good point yeah to make it's it, it's one of those things is you know a lot of bands start out doing covers and that's the that's a really strong place to start as a band because you've got the repertoire there to build from but you don't want to go out and see a cover band just trying to copy to be someone else you want to see them bring their own personality so try and try and do that if you can and that goes to all of the performers actually i think that that is, yeah. a, is a good feedback for everyone to take on just picking up on the drums it's ollie isn't ollie? it yeah ollie so ollie really solid job very competent player but what i would suggest if you've got stick tricks, which you clearly have got, and you're you're fluent with them, if you do them all the time, they lose their effectiveness. You need to pick the best places in your performance to think, where is this going to embellish and where is it going to add to what I'm doing? You know, unfortunately, there are performers like Jonathan Moffat, like Michael Jackson's old drummer on tour. You'll see videos of him and he's stick tricking all the way through it. But actually, by like the second verse, you think, okay, I've seen this. I'm over it. It's just, it's distracting what i'm doing as i've said to some of the earlier acts you know being the drummer your job is to keep the band together and it's one of the hardest jobs in a band because you have to just sit at the back mm. and be modest and you only get little pockets of time where you can shine so use those and keep your stick tricks for those moments because that's when everyone's looking at you and you get much more um, sort of value for those tricks if you use them sparingly another quick point as well is just to develop dynamics for the drums, but also for the band as a whole. I think because we're at a level where it's competent performance and you're all, all clearly able to, to play together well, this is where you think, okay, how can we enhance this? And so like the single stroke role in Misery Business towards the end, you've got that big build up, but it wasn't a build up because we were already at like a loud setting when we started. You want to bring that in nice and low, almost as ghost notes. So then we hear those accents cutting through and then we get this crescendo up through the last bar and the guitar comes like searing in at the top and that's where the the audience get those goosebumps yeah, because yeah, it's like point. wow okay yeah. we're taking that journey with you but if you're just here the whole time you don't get that emotional response from an audience so looking at opportunities where you can have space in your playing you know use softer tones use those dynamics in the drum playing and it just really will gel a lot better Overall, I mean, that, that level of feedback means that you obviously were performing yeah, a yeah, really definitely. good standard yeah, yeah. because, you know, the stuff that you need to look at to it move forward is like tiny tweaks on yeah, a good performance. Definitely. So great job overall. Definitely. Yeah, well done, guys. So, third place goes to... Wig. Wig. In second place with a fantastic performance was... Joe, Joe and, and Patrick. Patrick. And the winners are H-Sharp. H -sharp.